What's up, guys? Um, I'm hanging outside today. Very nice day. Just did a video about USA Soccer and all that. So I figured might as well uh, do a video about the NBA Finals. I mean, it was a great game. I was actually out of town when it happened, but I made sure that when I was in the hotel I could watch it, and I did. The Lakers won. Uh, you can go back to my preview uh, video. Before the series started, I said Lakers in seven, and it was Lakers in seven. An extremely hard-fought game, a uh, hard-fought series, just actually. Um, but can't deny Kobe, game seven in L.A. It's just, uh, that's a something court. You're not going to be able to beat him. Um, if you don't watch uh, Jerry's NBA Talk TV, go subscribe to him. I already said to in another video, but he's got some great videos. In his one of his last videos, he said, who's going to win and why? Who's going to step up? And basically what I said was Kobe's going to do his thing, which he did, um, although he didn't have the best shooting night. I said Lamar is going to step up. He had an all right game. And I said, Sasha Vujicic has to get into the game. Well, Sasha Vujicic had two points the entire game. But they were huge clutch free throws, which he knocked down. Um, my players of the game, obviously Kobe, he won the MVP award um, for the finals. Although he didn't have the best performance of the game. My opinion, Pau Gasol, beast, absolute beast. Especially with Bynum not really playing at all in the second half. Gasol just dominated the boards, busted it down low, got his points, and he was amazing. Um, Derek Fisher, uh, he had a very clutch three. Um, Ron Artest, another clutch three, and Artest just played well the whole game. But the Lakers defeated the Boston Celtics. Um, Kobe's fifth, fifth, he's got one on each finger, ring. LeBron, hate to bring it up, but he's got the goose eggs. Zero. I'm sure he'll get one, but he has none right now. So, props to the Lakers. Um, I hope they're celebrating. I really hope Phil Jackson comes back. Come back, Phil. You can't leave the Lakers now. I mean, I understand going out on top after you win a championship, but you're a great coach. You got plenty more years ahead of you. Come back, Phil. Um, so yeah, just a quick recap. Lakers, 2010, NBA champions. Um, Side note, John Wall worked out with the Wizards a few days ago, um, pretty much assuring that we're going to draft him. Evan Turner didn't even bother. His agent basically said, stay away. They only worked out with the Sixers, who have the second pick. And so it looks like Turner's going to the Sixers, Wall's going to the Wizards. Watch out for the Wizards next year. Watch out. I'm going to get John Wall. And I'm not saying he's going to be our big savior and turn the team around in one year, but you just wait. In a few years, he's going to be an all-star. I'm hoping, and hopefully get the Wizards back to a playoff contender team. Next year, I mean, we didn't fall too short of the playoffs this year. That is horrible considering the players we ended up having on the team near the end. So, hey, if we can get the 7th or 8th seed next year, I'd be very happy. And even if we get knocked out of the playoffs, which we probably would in the first round, that's still an improvement. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this video off. Um, until next time, go Wizards. Congratulations to the Lakers. Kobe's got five.